Yeah, boy. <laughs> oh, fuck. Let's go. That's the crane driver. We are climbing that big bastard. I won't lie, guys. I am fucking knackered. But we're going to send it. Is there any more cameras? Wait, just go up in it as far as you can. For sake. Health and safety in places like this just don't exist. What the f is this? Right guys, as you may have noticed, I do a lot of travelling and I get stuck in airports quite a bit. There's a lot of waiting around when you're travelling, but I've found the perfect solution. It's a competitive match-free puzzle game called Matchmasters. You can play it against people from all around the world, you can play against your friends, and the best part is, it's not like you're playing against a computer, one of these rubbish games where you're just up against some robot, you're actually playing against real people around the world. It's really simple, all you need to do is match colours on the board. By matching blue stars and collecting seven of them, you can activate your booster. Here you can see how my booster is activated. It's pretty cool, I know. Match Matters are going to be giving away some amazing big prizes over the next eight weeks to some of you guys. They're going to be giving away a five-star holiday for two people for five nights to Ibiza. They're going to be giving away an iPhone 13 Pro Max, an iPad Air, and the best of all, they are also going to be giving away a bloody car. All you have to do is click the link in my description or scan this QR code, go play the game, just collect 100 stars and you'll be in with a chance of winning. They're going to be announcing a winner every single Thursday over on Matchmaster's official Instagram page, so go check that out. If you do download it, it's supporting my channel a lot, so please, and you like my content and you want to support the channel, just click that link and download Matchmaster's. A massive shout out to Matchmaster's for sponsoring this video. It's 5.21 a.m. Sun rises in like one hour, thirty minutes. So we got plenty of time. There's an actual worker coming into the site. What time are they starting work? It's here. What's time now? He's on the move. I can't believe the workers are coming in already. Huh? I think we can still potentially get away with it. Maybe. We just see how many workers come in, innit? If they obviously start flooding him, we might be f***ed. I mean, as it is, a couple of them ain't too bad. The best places like Thailand, the workers don't give a sh**. I don't know what it's like here. I feel like the Cypriot workers are going to be pissed at us. <laughs> Let's do this, We've got big problems. Four workers are... Oh, there's loads of them. All walking down the street. Oh, crane driver's been smoking. And stinking in it. Five forty-three. We've got an hour till sunrise. There's already a load of people flooding in. Ah, f it, mate. What a f***ing view. We need to see the front of the site, ideally. Is that another worker? We we are. F 22nd worker entering the building site at f***ing 5.30 a.m. man If there's that many workers at 5.30, how many workers are going to be here at 7? Is the big question Oh no, boss man's coming through the front gate now Oh he's definitely coming up here before isn't he? But he'd be up here ready to operate for like sunrise wouldn't he? But 100% He's coming up here before sunrise. Mate, foreign countries are just dodgy doing cranes in for some reason. Just never feel safe on them. Mate, this at sunrise would look insane. Just don't think we're gonna be able to do it, you know? Literally, tallest crane in Cyprus. But, we really wanna wait till sunrise, but it's 5.45. And there's workers coming in, loads of them as you've just seen. 
So I don't genuinely think we're going to be able to wait out until sunrise because this building site is going to be active and there's probably going to be a crane driver up here by sunrise. Well, I think we're going to have to dip before it gets proper light though. People at the front gate now. You see them? Yeah. That's the security guard. I really thought, yeah, they start at seven. We'll get a good escape on. But if they're all flooding in already, we ain't even got a chance of a good escape. All right, let's go get our escape on from some angry Cypriots. So many workers in here already. They're all putting their high visors on and they're all coming into the site. Right, guys. <sighs> it's the decision maker. Do we try and get out now or do we stay, watch the sunrise and probably get caught? I think time to dip, try and get a little escape on the go. Yeah, boy. Yeah, that looks sick. <laughs> yeah. Oh, f let's go. That's the crane driver. That's definitely the crane. <laughs> Oi, we need to get down quick time. Oh, we ain't beating him. He's so... He's There's three workers. I won't lie, this is what I enjoy. Escaping from workers. That's it. We need to get down now. I need to get a high vis. Quick time. <laughs> I do like this, this gives me a good buzz. <laughs> Let the fun begin. Let's do this. But the only problem with the 144s, I've got no high vis on. Oh, he let one worker out up here and that was it and then the rest were gonna get out and come back in. There's one worker up there somewhere. Did you not, did you not see him? Oh, he come right out. Wait, let's go. Wait, there's a lot of them down there. Go to the bottom floor. We'll just walk out to the front. Hopefully no one will say anything to us. And then we'll just dip over the thing. How quick do you reckon you could get over that gate if needs be? Rapid. Yeah, cool. If needs be, we'll blag it. But then dip. Wait, what's the top? Mate, I can't believe they start so early here. Yeah. But they were flooding in the site at 5 30. Oh, he's fucking. Oh, he's up. <laughs> Wait, get your keys out of your bag. You haven't got Oh, some shouting. Yes, yeah, this way. Confidence is always key, isn't it? If I just had a whole vis on, we'd be f chilling. Oh. 
Hey, don't run, don't run. Hello, bro. Take. No, Stephen, act like you're working, act like you're working. Time to dip. Oh, for fuck's sake. Steven, come. <laughs> oh, where are we, where are we going? Right, oh, let's go on. Oh, come this way. Steven, take that Vizzy off. Is he there? No. Yeah, now we're chilling. Oh. Well, you get down to the beach, innit? Oi, Stephen. Woohoo! Well, have we stayed any longer? Do you wanna? Oh, let's go for a little morning dip then. Honestly, that would have been fucking unreal. If we were up there while it was this lie. That would have been unbelievable. Wait, wait to see how long it takes for the crane to start turning. Not long. What did he say when, when you're on the fence? You're Shaputa. Something, and then put that. <laughs> like, what you're doing, he's like pointing towards the gear, like, hey, go out that way or something. If we didn't get down when we did, we were fucked. <laughs> no, the crane's moving. The crane driver's in that one as well. <laughs> Look at this. It would have been sick if we were up there right now. But you win some, you lose some, I guess. Still a success. Good thing about hot countries, you can go for a swim at six o'clock in the morning. And it's warm. We're having a good little morning healthy munch. Stephen's got salad and that. I've got hot chocolate. Two minutes later, I'm gonna have third degree burns on my dick. It's hurting. A lot, and my leg. I don't know quite what to do. Idiot. I don't know how I've done it. I've got hot chocolate on my face. Never in my life have I burnt my dick. I'm gonna have third degree burns on my dick. I'm not even fucking care. I need to wash under a cold tap or something. Steven, I've had to wrap it in tissue. I've <laughs> <laughs> the tip off, mate. The tip's out of action. Oh, oh, mate, it hurts so much. Hope you enjoyed this video. Got hot chocolate on my face. My life is a mess. Peace. <laughs>